All right, so um, obviously Batman's been out for some time, but some things that I wanted to talk about with this Batman movie, because it is very good in its own respect, I wouldn't necessarily compare it to um, Heath Ledger's performance and the, you know, the Dark Knight, I believe. Was it The Dark Knight Rises? Or no, it was The Dark Knight. I think it was The Dark Knight. Yeah. Um, but essentially what I liked from this is that they did not focus on a villain that has primarily been done. Yeah, the last time we saw the Riddler was Jim Carrey, and uh, exactly, yeah. it's Jim Carrey. Like it's supposed to be fun. Like, you know, you know what I mean. And what I liked is he did a really good Riddler, and he was fucking intimidating. Exactly, and I, it's it's kind of scary because you know that that shit happened today because he is like that's like school shooter type. Shit. Like I'm gonna can be a vigilante and do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> incel type. Shit. Um, but. I really do want them to do that with like Two Face and some of these other characters. I want to see them do Clayface. That'd be horrifying. That's that's what I'm saying. I want them to not do Joker. Now, I think that's why Matt Reeves put him in jail to be like, it's already happened. Don't worry about it. Because essentially, what happens is like what we said in, in a previous video where we talked about um, uh, Punisher and Daredevil and all this kind of stuff is that. When you make a new character of something, you're going to compare it to the old version or the best version. And if you make a new Joker, it's not going to be Heath it's, Ledger. It's going to be the f fifth Joker or something we've had. Exactly. The and years. they might be like, oh, it came close, but it's not going to be like, oh, my God, that's the best f Joker I've ever seen. Whereas you can look at Paul, Paul Dano's f uh, Riddler and be like, that's the best f Riddler I've ever seen. Yeah, dude, right? that, fuck, that opening, the first scene, did that scare you? It didn't Wait, necessarily I scare me, me, but I was, I was like, just like, whoa. What the fuck? Yeah. At first, I thought it was Batman, but I was like, Batman don't do this. <laughs> this <laughs> no, ain't Batman. Batman does do that. But he, like, doesn't, he wouldn't no, kill he, him. he wouldn't duct tape someone's face oh, no, no, and no, no, shit. No, no, you no. Know, like, I mean, like, when he just appeared, when the he was standing behind the in front of the curtain that was the same color as his uh, clothes, mm -hmm. and then the light from the TV illuminated him, and it was like, oh, shit. Yeah. That startled me. I was like, I did not expect that. What yeah, that, it was a lot creepier and a lot darker and, and stuff like that. And even then, I wouldn't even compare Robert Pattinson's Batman to Christian Bale's Batman because completely different. We've never seen yeah, year like, one Batman. This is completely like different. One. That's what I'm saying is I'd like to see something completely different with other villains. Like Penguin, dude. That's the best Penguin performance we've ever yeah. seen. Oh, my God. Colin, that didn't even look like Colin Farrell. Exactly. Even Colin Farrell talked about it on set where he was like, yeah, after I got the fucking suit put on, I went up to the director and was like, what's up, man? How you doing? And he walked away from me to go talk to someone. And then he came back and he was like, Colin? Like, <laughs> he literally was about to get kicked off set because they didn't even know who the fuck he was. So this whole movie was good. It was three hours. It was detective. It was... It was insane, but like I said, I really want to see like Two Face and some of these other villains that are not talked about, so they can get their own performances rather than comparing Joker, making another Joker, and being like, okay, now we got to compare it to Heath Ledger, and you just can't. I can't see someone doing a better performance than Heath Ledger. It's hard. The mannerisms, the walk, yeah, the like fucking, like the craziness, like. It just, I, I, don't I think the only way to outdo him would be having someone who you have to, would, it would have to emulate from the cartoons where like Joker is the most bad crazy person ever. Like, like did you see the deleted scene? Yeah. I saw like that. if, if they were to do that and tone, it up. and tone it up, it would have to be the moment you start to see like the shutter rising. Joker would have to start laughing immediately and be excited that Batman is there. And it would, it's too, I think it might be too hard for an actor to do. Exactly. I mean, even with, um, who was it? The guy who played Zod. Was it Zod? Oh, oh yeah. not Zod. Um, what's his name? You know what I'm talking about? The, the other Joker, the recent oh, one. Oh, Wa Joaquin Phoenix. Joaquin Phoenix. It's a completely different Joker. That's what I'm saying. Like, you can't even compare that to the, f you know, Dark Knight because that's, like you said, it's a completely different Joker, completely different style, completely different story, um, completely different mindset. Like that Joker was just bad crazy, right? Whereas this one was like he was bad crazy, but he had, you know, he was killing people, shooting people, taping bombs to people, you know, putting them, burning money. Like it, he was just a completely different Joker. And I, like I said, I just you really, have, really want to yeah, see something different. If they something do the different. Joker again, they have to go along the route of he's someone who's bad crazy. Who genuinely finds everything funny, like crime is funny, 
the bad murder is yeah, funny murder is yeah, funny yeah. you'd have to make because that route hasn't been explored yet probably because it's super disturbing and general audiences might not like it yeah and but that's what would, i said that'd dude make a great villain that's paul dano's time. riddler was good so if we got a two-face you said you wanted to see Clayface. I mean, yeah. I mean, they already got rid of the DA, so Harvey Dent can come in the next movie and be the DA for a bit. That's what I'm saying. I want to see them actually do uh, Mr. Freeze well. That'd be great. Especially but see, now this, that the, the thing that, flooded. The thing that you're even brushing over is, like, most people don't even know this shit. Exactly. No, so, I, I know this. <laughs> but, but that's what I'm saying. It's just, like, people watching now are just like, who? Huh? Oh, yeah, who? I should explain that. Huh? Clayface is a, an actor, well, from what I remember from the series... He's an actor that essentially got turned into a clay monster. So when he impersonates someone, that also fucks with his mental state. And the way Batman beat him in the show was he put him, he had him like in like a teleprompter room with like all the different screens and he put different actors on them. And he was like, you don't know who you are. And it, it literally psychologically broke Clayface to where like it just inca incapacitated him. Like he was trying to fit in and look normal and batman's like you're nothing but a monster and it fucking broke him yeah and that's what i'm saying even with like mr freeze mr freeze is actually really tragic yeah but that's i really want to see them do other fucking characters and have great performances and have a great storyline with this batman but the only thing i will say about this batman is i didn't think that robert pattinson has that batman face i think when he put on the suit he's batman and it was cool but when he took it off, he doesn't play a good Bruce Wayne. Like, he, oh yeah, that's the uh, that's part of. That's like think that's the people's biggest concern, but that's also sort of kind of like, I think it's a logical step, especially when you're adapting the year one comics, because like that was, if I remember that correctly, that was Bruce Wayne was obsessed with being Batman as opposed to being Bruce Wayne, and he was also really brutal with criminals, and in the movie. You kind of see him realize that there's value in being Bruce Wayne. One, when he realizes that he can have an effect as Bruce Wayne and not just the Batman. But two, when he got information from Carmine Valcone as Bruce Wayne. And then he was like, oh, wait, what's your name? Did the same. Catwoman did the same thing, dog. I could be doing that, too. I don't yeah. need to be Batman all the time. So yeah. I'm hoping that we get to see that Playboy beer, billionaire thing solely as like some kind of kind of like how christian bale use it it's solely just there as a cover-up yeah but see that's the thing is even with ben affleck's batman he was bruce wayne he was I think he, he played was bruce he wayne, had actually. that bruce wayne stature he had that bruce wayne walk that bruce wayne look mm. same thing with christian bale but with him with robert patterson i'm like uh, you kind of look like a little boy like I, I don't really see it but that's all i really got for you know my whole um overview of like batman. batmobile it was all right i like i think I like it because the Batmobile is a car. I mean, I think, again, it's more realistic. I think this is like a more realistic, like as if somebody were to literally like me just put on a suit and go fucking crime fighting. This is what Batman would look like. Mm. That's what I looked at it like. But I wouldn't say like, oh, my God, it's so cool. And this and, you know, like. Really? Okay. Like the Batmobile to me was just a, a muscle car, right? What the fuck? Chad engine in the back of it or whatever the fuck I, I know but th that's what i'm saying like it, it's to me it's just like it's a muscle car it doesn't really from my memory of how i grew up with batman is christian bale's batman so that's mm. my envisionment okay, gotcha. of batman the and, tumbler yeah the tumbler okay. and even tumbler? then when he was bruce wayne like the nice cars he was driving were what is it? he drove like what did he drive in the fucking funeral scene it was like an old that's what i'm saying it's not memorable Oh, oh, I I remember the car. I don't I thought you were talking about what No, but like what did driving. he grab what did he drive? Um, it was an older car for sure. That's what I'm saying. I, I, I just I don't know. There's some little things that aren't really that big of a deal, but you know, for me I'm just like that doesn't really seem like Bruce Wayne to me. Um so I don't it's not a big deal. But um comment down below what you guys thought about the Batman. Do you agree with me and think that they should not focus on some of these bigger characters and vil villains? Um to you know to you know showcase some other things and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Peace.